What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord JS video. In this video, I want to go over how to implement a kick and slash band, well both kick and band uh, command to your Discord bot. Last couple of videos, if I can come here and pull this over here. Uh, we went over such things like sending attachments, sending pictures from the web. Uh, so this is a picture from you know, somewhere in the internet and then the bot would go fetch the picture and send it here. We got cool stuff like embeds and still, you know, cool stuff like this. So if you're new to the channel, this is a YouTube channel where I usually teach you uh, how to code a Discord bot using Discord.js. Discord.js is basically, um, you know, JavaScript uh, with Node.js and it's a framework where you can connect to the Discord API using Node.js, which is a JavaScript, JavaScript runtime environment or something like that. Basically, I teach you how to code a Discord bot with JavaScript. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do commands. To know how to do commands, the first thing you're going to need is you need to go watch my commands video where I explain how to do commands with the switch statements and I I explain how to do a split so you can do uh, something with your prefix and that's all you have to do. I'll have a link to the description for uh, the commands and also the basics to get started. Uh, go watch that in my channel. So let's go ahead and get started. So I actually have another account right here, Lush Games, and you can see I've been testing the command and as well as the welcome uh, thing. So I've been testing the kick command and I finally got to work so I want to do a video on it. So. We'll come here, if you've watched the last video, so you will know that we have a switch statement. I'm actually going to open this up. So we're going to switch statements and we're going to do a kick command. So here we go. We're going to just type in the case kick and we're going to start beginning here. So the first thing we want to make sure is that there is, or the second argument, um, it's basically mentioned someone. So when you do slap something like kick, like this, a command, um, we want to make sure that if he just sends this or if the administrator or whoever, you know, is typing this command, if he just sends this, that we send him a message saying, Hey, listen, uh, you need to mention someone in your second argument. So you need to do something like this, or you can kick a player. If you do this, uh, that's what we want to send to the, uh, whoever sent the message. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to do an if statements. So if the arguments or the second army arguments which is one does not exist we just want a message message uh that channel that send and we're just gonna say oops, if I'm, am i doing this right message that channel that send uh, i need to put another this is sorry, another uh, close that and i'm actually i'm typing this wrong so i'm gonna have an if there we go if and then we have the args sorry is the one if it, it does not happen so we're gonna do this so if there's no argument the second arguments then we're just gonna do message that channel uh, that send and I think I'm getting an error why am I getting an error I think I have to do this on the outside yeah I'm, I'm sorry guys I'm not in my game right now message that channel that send and we're just gonna send um, saying you need to specify a person or something like that and that basically happens. So if there's no second arguments, if he just types kick, then we just want to say, hey, you need to specify a player, right person. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to do a const. We're going to name this user. And this is going to equal to the the mention, whoever we mentioned. Uh, so mentions that users that first. Uh, first. Let's do that. So this basically gets the user, the first user that we mentioned. Um, so... Here we check if he says something after kick, if the second argument, um, if it doesn't include anything in the second argument, it's just going to send a message. And then here it's just going to uh, make a user variable or constant that holds the mention, the first mentioned user uh, that whoever sends the command. So then we're going to do, say if the user, and if you don't know programming, this basically means that if user is true, so if he has mentioned somebody in this command, if the, the user is true, we're going to do another constant and we're going to just name this member. And it's going to be member that guild that member and then user. This is going to check if the person we mentioned 
is basically in our server. A guild is kind of like our server. So we're going to check that off. So if if it exists, put it into the constant of member. And we're going to do one, uh, one more uh, uh, if statement. And we're going to do this member. Basically, once again, if member is true, um, then we continue on. And then here we can do something like member. And we're going to do a kick command for first. And we're just going to do, let's see. Uh, let's say you were a kick for trolling or something. And then we're going to do a dot, then a den. And why do not? Oh, sorry. This is, has to be a, an arrow function. Or we're going to make it an arrow function. So let's do that. And let's put a semicolon there because I'm using pulling semicolons. And we're just going to do message that reply. That. Um, and we're just going to do a little tilde keys. Those, those are the ones usually next to your number one. Uh, so it's not any, no, uh, these are quotes like quotient, like quotients, like, like this. I forgot what it's called. We're actually doing a tilde and I'll explain why. Then we do something like, uh, success, successfully, uh, kicked. And then we're going to do a money design and then brackets. No, sorry. These brackets right here, user that tag. And then it's basically going to say successfully kicked. And then the tag of the user, which is the name. And then we're going to catch for errors. So we're going to do catch. And we just want to make sure we're going to just name it error. Actually, just error. Keep doing that. There we go. And we're going to open this up. And we're just going to do message that reply. And I was unable to kick the member. If there's some reason, then we just want to say, hey, this guy couldn't kick it. And then we're also going to console.log it. Uh, so we have that log in our console error and that's it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create another else statement. And this is going to be, um, if the person's not on the server, so I'm message that reply and we're going to do, uh, we're actually going to do another till days and I'll explain why. Um, and that's going to be that user isn't and then for the isn't I have to do a backspace T Actually, no, 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 no. How do we do this again? No, I think we can just do Yeah, we don't have to do till there. We can just do regular and then that that user isn't and backspace then the this little mark here is it in this guild and we're gonna finish it off like this uh the reason we do this is because when you have a string especially on javascript you can if you have if you know if you take this off this will kind of count as a string as a uh, like an operator string uh, so basically this does not count and only this will count it, it basically messes up so we have to do is do a backspace and then continue doing this so you can actually have the whole entire phrase in one string. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do one final, let's just one this, one final uh, else. So else, actually I think I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, it has to be here. Else on the outside. This is, this is the else for the, the first if, for the if of user. And in here we're just going to do message that re message that reply. Um, and we're going to do something like that user isn't, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Backspace, oh, backspace till they isn't, uh, in the guild, same thing as like in the server. So you can say this guy's not on the server and there we go. Finish that. We seem to be getting an error. Expect a comma. Period. We're missing one. No, I'm missing one. What, what's happening here? So that's fine like that. Else, no, not too fix. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, I'm so stupid. Uh, finish it off with this. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Now what I'm gonna do is I actually have. If you're using Visual Studio Code, you can get in a a quick. Uh, what's it called? You can get like a come here into the extensions you can get something called beautify 
what you do is you right click you go to format and it will format everything so it makes it pretty and I mean it really didn't change much because I already had my code uh, written pretty uh, pretty cleanly so then we're gonna do node space dot or if you if this does not work if you can't do node space dot what you can do is do node run index.js but we can do uh, oops node space dot and you'll see our bot is online we come here into our server and what we can do is first if you do kick it's gonna say you need to specify a person and it also said that person is on the guild uh, the reason it said that is because if we go back to this it first sent this message and then it also did the error catching which said this message right here uh, so actually we don't necessarily need to have this uh, so if we remove that what we can do is say you need to specify a person and let's run that again and now we can just do this it says you need to specify a person because it didn't find the user um, and then secondly we can do something like kick uh, and let's just tag some random person say you need to specify a person why did it not do that person isn't in a guild I guess it yeah I guess it needs to at least be a, a person so let's try doing for example we can actually do a lush games my other accounts and what happened we had an error probably we did get an error member that guild that user is not defined member did I just run which member member that guild that user yeah this is not member sorry this is supposed to be message message that guild that user sorry about that just clean it over there run it so right here where it says const the member uh, I type the member guild member it should be message guild member and then we go back we do stuff maybe that's why we're getting a bunch of errors so let's just kick my other account and boom I disappeared and then you can see a lesh successfully kicked uh, the player and then the ID um, so that's you know how it's kicked so we kicked the player that's pretty much it if we go back here we did not get any errors that's how you kick a player how you ban a player I'm just gonna show you quickly I'm not gonna go over exactly how you ban a player because it's the same thing what you can do is come here and edit instead of member that kick what you can do is remove this right here and what you can do is do member that ban and in here you open this up you put brackets and then you put reason with a colon <clears throat> and in here you say you were I don't know you were bad or something and that would be the reason to do that um, and then we can do something like then and then you can message the person but I, I don't want to do the actually I'll show you why not I'll be a little generous we can just do a then uh, yeah why not so then and we're gonna do arrow function see I'm kind of tired uh, gonna do that and that there you go then we do a den with arrow function and we can use the message that channel that uh, not message to reply we should probably reply to the person and then you can say something like we banned the player blah 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 and then if you want to do a cool you can actually do the tilde here let's move all the way here to tilde and then we can do the money sign i can find money sign money sign uh, user that tag and then we can change this to ban so we do case ban blah 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 and you can actually ban the player um so let's actually try it i can just go into my messages and join the server again join the server and now we can do actually we got to restart our bot so control c to exit the terminal if i can bring this up so oh i typed it on what did i just do there we go uh we need to clear 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 i can type clear no space dot uh, the bot is going to be running and we can do ban and then add a lesh games 
and we banned the player, blah, 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 and I was banned. And that's how you ban players. And now I actually can't, can I join the server? Nope, I cannot join the server anymore. My player is fully banned from the server. I don't know how the, how you can check ban, oh, bans right here, and Alesh Games. So now, that's how you do a command to ban a player. So we're gonna revoke ban, because why would I wanna do that? And come on, can I join again? Uh, I did, there we go, join again, and that's how you can do a ban. So we gotta kick any ban command. Uh, we were having some problems because of the, instead I put, I put it here, I put a member instead of message. So hopefully I didn't trick you guys much throughout the video, but uh, it was my fault. It should have been, uh, instead of member, it should be message. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you like the button. Uh, one thing I do have to say is, since this is a coding channel and I want you guys to go you know, through the process, I'm in the process of learning Go. Go is another language. And I really, really enjoy Go. And I might start doing it very later, later, after you know I've successfully grown this channel and started doing stuff with Discord. Uh, start using Go. Because Go is such a good language. Like I'm really enjoying uh, how you know how you construct classes and structs and and it's very clean and I like the language. So I might be doing a it's called Discord Go, where you can actually code uh, your own Discord bots with Go. Go is GoLang. It's a language made by Google. And if you really want to get fully into programming, programming, uh, learning like a language like Go. I uh, can, you know, can greatly uh, help you learn how programs work, how programming works. And with Go, uh, you can do a little bit more than you can do stuff with JavaScript, even though JavaScript has Node.js now and, you know, it basically doesn't do anything now. Uh, but with Go, it's, it's basically like if Java, it's basically like if Python had a, a baby with like C++ and it, it's, it's like as fast or close to C++ speed, but like, uh, it's very visual, visual, like you can, you like enjoy writing it like Python and you can, you know, read it like Python, uh, but it's a very good language. So I just want to let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm trying to learn a little bit of Go. So that, with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. Next video, I'm actually going to teach you how to save your tokens because right here we have our hard coded token, which we don't want to do that because uh, this is not safe. Someone can come here and steal our token as well as your prefix, maybe our version. So I'm gonna teach you next episode how to do JSON files and store all of these uh, valuable stuff information into a separate file where it's gonna be harder for someone to access it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment below any suggestions for upcoming videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.